Hey friends, I hope you guys are doing well. I have a, I have something that I want to start off with because it came out pretty clearly before I do the reading. Um, about an hour ago, I started feeling, I started feeling so ill, like as if I had the flu or something. Um, and it just, the onset of it was very, very quick. I've been fine all day and I'm fine now, but it came on like really, really quickly. Um, and then a bit later I was thinking about it and I got the number, I got the number 223. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this cause I don't know if this is a specific message for somebody. Um, but this came through. It says, 223 is a warning for you to cherish and nourish your body. Your body is your spirit's temple. If you take care of it, you will be unstoppable and you will accomplish great and big things. So, I don't know who needs to hear that, but the message came through very clearly to me. Um, and it's very much about taking care of your body. And I know that in the last reading that I did that... I paused and um, said something about getting water to drink, so to whoever needs to, or whomever needs to hear that, that is the message. Alright, so if everybody wants to kind of check in with yourself, check your frame of mind. If you are in a more grounded state, you're going to be more receptive to the messages, which is important if you want to um, be able to best absorb what comes through. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you for joining me. Um, I believe in a lot of ways that this is kind of, um, kind of like a conversation between you and your higher self in a way or you and your your guides, whatever comes through. Sometimes things get channeled, sometimes it's um, it's me reading, um, but I just, I really do believe that the things that come through are meant to come through. That's also why I do it freestyle when I read, to kind of just like let the energy flow instead of sticking with something particular because um, I don't, I don't, it doesn't resonate with me to have an agenda when I'm reading the cards, so that's kind of why I just free flow it. Nothing wrong with someone who prefers to do that, it's just not the way that I prefer to read. So, that being said, let's get into the reading. I was, um, I was recently gifted this deck. It's, um, it's very beautiful and there were a lot of synchronicities as far as me feeling like this deck um, resonated with me. Specifically, I had been seeing a lot about, I feel very connected to um, to things revolving around Egyptian culture. I have family from, um, from that area, um, family that originated there. And <clears throat> on, this, um, on this deck, there's a scarab beetle I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> but I'm sure you can make it out. But yeah. But it's really beautiful. And also I've been super attracted to um super attracted to golden golden things, gold in general. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Get into it in a moment. If you're thirsty, drink some water.
My intention is for this to be a reading for the collective. I feel like I'm scrambling to get things set up. Maybe you've been feeling that way. So again, general reading for the collective in hopes of calling through whatever messages the collective specifically needs right now. Fire energy, creativity. Ooh. Worried somebody's going to steal something from you. An idea, an offer, a creative project. Who's sneaking around you? Sag Venus. Venus is um, Taurus Libra. Somebody's alchemizing something and they are pregnant, maybe with an idea. There's some sort of fertility. And I think that it has to do with the um, Ace of Wands. It looks to me like somebody thinks that they're going to steal something, but whoever it is that has this idea or the creativity, whoever's alchemizing something, because I'm seeing these two cards, somebody's like cooking something up. That's what it looks like to me. And they are ready with whatever this idea is. Um, somebody thinks that they're going to steal something, but they're not. Look at that dude's face. Um, somebody thinks they're getting away with something. Could be an Aries. Could be somebody embodying that type of energy. Yeah, somebody thinks that they're very sneaky. Let's see. Alright. But you're not worried about that because... You've made progress, and you've gotten away from this type of energy, because when you focus on worrying about this, all you do is stay stuck in this energy, and we don't need to be stuck in that type of energy, because you have, you have important, important things to do. Whatever this creative endeavor is that you have going on is important. And whatever that energy is over there trying to trying to get away with something, that's how things are going to end for them. Because you're getting this. And that's what's up with whatever this idea is for you. Some sort of creative endeavor, something that you have been growing on your own something that you might be at a crossroads with right now. See, this guy is holding what looks like the world in his hand. <laughs> this is so interesting. I just got... I just got this um, toy, if you will. I've been really trying to focus on on my inner child. Oh, my stomach feels so weird right now. This is like the feeling that I was getting before. 
um, like an anxious feeling maybe. But also we're talking about like being pregnant with an idea. <laughs> That's definitely not me, but you know, maybe somebody, somebody could be, maybe this actually is a baby for someone, for some people. Um, sheesh. All right. <laughs> so I, in, in the essence of wanting to nurture my inner child, I recently got a a toy that came in the mail and it looks like it looks like that it's like um it's this little ball and it um it floats in the air it has this uh these propellers within it and it's like it's like that big and you can like throw it and it comes back to you and it kind of just floats but that's what that reminds me of you have like you have the whole world in your hand and you're at a crossroads, which means that you can decide where you want to go. And you can go anywhere that you want to go. And I think that that's the end of a chapter. For you. This idea seemed important, whatever it was, or this project, whatever, whatever this baby is that's being born. And that, that can be literal. I don't believe that for the collective it's a literal thing, but also you have to, you have to interpret that and put the energy um, where it plays for you. You might be holding on to something. You're guarding something. You might be holding on to something that... You might be holding on to something and somebody's stuck because they have to make a decision about something, but you're holding on you're holding on to something. And you might be leaving someone stuck, but I don't I don't I don't think that they want to make whatever this decision is that they need to make. I think that they're procrastinating on something, but once you make whatever Maybe you have to announce something, but it looks like there's another person, another energy that's stuck. Because that, like, the head of that is just facing the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe she's the one that has to make some sort of decision. And mirroring that is the Ace of Swords. So, the Mother of Pentacles is going to make a decision, or someone else is going to make that decision. There are two people here, as I'm seeing it, and there's going to be some sort of clarity, there's some sort of truth that's going to come out. It might be seemingly out of nowhere. It has to do with emotional fulfillment with your Ten of Cups, whatever that is for you. I don't know if that... You know, sometimes we look at the cards and see things that resonate or light something up for us.
and that um, that landed right on right on the ace of swords this could have to do with something from your childhood something nostalgic maybe something from a past life something involving reciprocity as it looks So now we have the King of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands. Okay. So this person, this woman that has to make the decision. And when I say woman, like, I'm just speaking about the, this type of energy. This feminine energy more precisely put the feminine energy has to make some sort of decision one that she may be avoiding however once whatever this is comes to light there's clarity this is what the outcome is going to be right so like fulfillment security like happiness could be involving family um and there is somebody else, there's another energy, there's a masculine energy that is, that might be coming in. Might be bringing in some sort of creative idea quickly, promptly. And what is promptly, that's all subjective. But there's history between them. There's history between the feminine and the masculine energy. And it makes sense, too, that these would come out together. Because if, if um, the masculine energy is coming in with some sort of idea, like, of course, that's going to be fire, you know? Maybe there's a past life or childhood, something. There, There's something in the past, maybe something that somebody's been in their head about. But these two are definitely related and they definitely have some sort of history going on. Maybe they were emotionally tied to each other in the past. Queen of Cups. They could have worked together in the past. They could have collaborated on something before. Something having to do with emotions, emotional fulfillment. Something that was emotional, they had collaborated on before. First major arcana card, Cancer. Cancer is the moon, Cancer is emotion. They may have had to overcome, or they might be being called to overcome some sort of obstacles related to some sort of collaboration. I'm seeing, I'm seeing them at the bottom. I think that there's some sort of merging of energies that's going to have to come together. And this could be you with yourself as well. The Eight of Pentacles. Something really being worked on hard. And a tower.
Maybe whatever this thing is that's being worked on is going to be a, a tower. I don't know. Maybe for the people whom are working on it. But also maybe for the people outside of working on it. Maybe the people observing. I want to know what <laughs> curious about what this tower is. This tower is some sort of wish fulfillment. Interesting. 910. 8-9-10. Tower. There's something being worked on. There's going to be a tower about it, but that's some sort of wish fulfillment. Because if somebody's if somebody's doing like really doing too much the tower is going to be karmically meant to happen, so so whatever is being worked on can be focused on rather than trying to do so, so many things at once. That could also be a warning too. This landed right by the chariot. I'm seeing whatever this collaboration is that's being worked on. Once once the obstacles are overcome as far as this collaboration that's happening um, between the mother or... <laughs> I was going to say the mother of pentacles. Interesting. Um, between the queen of... <laughs> The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Okay. Um, whenever they overcome these obstacles that come with collaborating, whenever they have victory over that, this is the energy that they're going to be stepping into. They're going to be unifying something, bringing it together, harmonizing something. Something is going to be harmonized and there's going to be a celebration with this. Two people are being united. This could be two different um, like energies or frequencies. What do you guys have going on? Interesting stuff. We got the Seven of Swords again. Okay, somebody's worried about somebody taking, somebody is worried about somebody taking something that belongs to them, something that they've been waiting to come to fruition, something that they've manifested that is now tangible to them, but they're not even looking at each other, so... Whoever has manifested something that's now like coming to fruition in their physical environment, you do not need to be worried. 
about whoever or whatever that frequency is. Maybe you feel paranoid about something. But you don't you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to worry about it. They can't touch whatever this is. They can't touch whatever this is. Libra, Ace of Cups. This is something that, it seems to me that this is something karm whatever this is that's come to fruition this is something karmically karmically balanced karmic karmically meant this could be some sort of gift that you're receiving i see the i see the ace of cups as sorry <laughs> i see i see the ace of cups as being um being our our gifts that that we receive like our our deeper intuition our abilities that we have our higher knowledge our downloads our channels all of that so there's something that's come to fruition that has to do with your gifts And this is something that is balancing the scales. This is something that's meant. This is something that's karmically owed to you to some degree. And it's untouchable. Yeah, this is this is something that's now in your physical environment, in your 3D environment, something tangible. I think that there could be an offer that's coming in of the Page of Pentacles and the Devil, possibly from a Capricorn, somebody embodying that type of energy. You could be a Capricorn. We have all of the, every single Zodiac in our chart. Somebody might be holding on to something, holding on to an offer, an offer that's meant to be made. Maybe someone's hesitant. I don't know. They look skeptical. Whoever this person is that's going to make, potentially going to make the offer, they look skeptical. Okay, so now we have two pages next to each other because we have the Page of Cups as well. Maybe, maybe where 3D meets intuition, maybe where your physical earth energy is meeting your emotional intuitive energy in your physical environment. Maybe there's something going on between an earth sign and a water sign. Maybe you're being called to merge together because something has been out of balance. Maybe pulling together like your ideas and your visions and your dreams that you have and pulling them down to ground them. Both of them are stepping on their capes that they have. You could be holding yourself back from something. Something that you want to go quickly with.
Something's going to speed up. I think it's important to be mindful, though. Excuse me. I think it's important to be mindful, though, to not do things so quickly that they are not delivered in the way that you want them to be delivered. Because delivery is absolutely important. Ooh. You know what I'm seeing in the pyramids? Wow. That might mean something significant to you. That might mean something significant to you that you've been holding on to. Maybe something that now it's time to release. Something you've been working on manifesting. You have everything you need to manifest this and it looks like it's now come to fruition. Maybe you're working on the delivery of whatever this thing is. Maybe you want to be delivering it with that sort of energy. The page, or er, not the page, interesting. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles in this deck. The horse isn't at a standstill. The horse is definitely moving. Maybe things are going to... Maybe there's an offer coming in that's... That's not going to be coming in at a slow pace. Maybe it's something that's been coming in at a steady pace. Maybe you're offering something in regard to whatever this thing is that you've been manifesting. But either way, there's going to be some sort of exchange with an, between you and another energy if this is not you and yourself. Moving away from some sort of chaos, maybe organizing whatever the chaos is with some sort of creative idea, something you're attracted to, something creative. Maybe you're moving towards stepping into your power, your feminine power. Somebody has a black cat. I'm seeing a sunflower. You're moving from chaos into some sort of position of power. You had been confused before. There had been confusion because of how many options there were, but you're moving away from that. Because you know, you know where you want to go. Maybe you're making an offer to somebody. Maybe someone's making an offer to you. Something that is perceived to be stable. Something that has to do with gifts. Maybe you're being offered a gift. Maybe you're offering it to somebody else. 
giving something away that look look at how these people these frequencies are holding on to their coins maybe you're holding on to something too hard in the 3d and you're being guided to surrender whatever that is surrender to what you're surrender to what you're being guided towards maybe your gifts maybe your intuition maybe a higher calling maybe ascension judgment a higher calling Like, if that, if that is not ascension in your gifts, I don't know what is. You are being called to let go of whatever this stuff is in 3D that you're holding on to. You're blocking yourself from this. But judgment is going to be called. So, if you want to go ahead and make the decision before judgment is called then you get to be the one in the driver's seat. Whatever this chaos is that you're moving away from, you're going to be stepping into that energy when you move away from the chaos. Maybe of someone that's very hard to walk away from. Because it's what you've been manifesting. You've been manifesting this. And as soon as you move away from the chaos of whatever this situation is where you've been holding on to things that are not elevating you, they're not in alignment with where your soul is calling you to go, as soon as you let go of that, you are going to ascend. 100%. You're being called. Four of Cups. There could be an offer that you're not trying to take. Because you're busy looking at the ground. But he looks sad about something. Maybe he's just tired. <laughs> Maybe you're taking a rest. Maybe you just got a lot going on. Maybe you don't like any of the offers that have been coming in for you because you're waiting for your person. I don't want to like show anything risque, so we'll just cut it off. But like, look at look at her face. She's like, when is it coming through? I don't know if you can <laughs> see that. No, you can't. But she's like, her hands are even down like this. She's like, where is it? Cause I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm here waiting. I know it's not the Five of Cups, but this guy looks just like, this isn't it. Whatever has been like coming towards you, maybe you're not about it. But it's good to wait. You should wait until something feels right. You should not rush anything. Don't rush anything. Some sort of clarity is going to be coming to you. Some sort of truth is going to be coming to you. That's going to be the end of a chapter for you. try to go through one more time
go again. How many times? This cycle of holding on to things or not making an offer, it's like there's something that needs to be done. There's some sort of action that needs to be taken and there's some sort of delay. But why, why is it being held on to? Whatever it is that's being held on to that needs to be communicated or isn't being communicated, this chapter, this cycle is coming to an end if it has not ended already. It's not something that's sustainable and it's necessary karmically for whatever this is to end. Maybe you need to pull back Maybe you need to go into hermit mode, withdraw from other people, re-familiarize yourself with your own frequency, get back in touch, reach for your inner knowing and inner knowledge that you have. They just came out with each other again. I have the Hermit that came out, Virgo, Sag, Libra. Something is being alchemized. You are being called to alchemize something, to balance something. Otherwise, it's going to be balanced for you. Movement, red butterfly. This balance is going to come in quickly. Maybe it has to do with, again, balancing. This could also be something involving a partnership. This could be you with yourself, your yin and your yang energy. This could also be This could also be a partnership between you and someone else. Maybe a Leo. I'm seeing the the lion head. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of something like, I love the Two of Cups because the Two of Cups is like best friend energy. This is like somebody that, I don't know, something is coming in for you. Some There's going to be a movement, fast paced movement about something coming in for you. Like, I'm not going to say it, but... We have the, the Four of Wands and Two of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. Something is coming in quickly for you. Something that has to do with something that was alchemized. Something balanced. Sorry for all of the movement. I feel like I'm rocking you guys back and forth. I just am like, I'm really feeling whatever this energy is. I feel excited for whatever this is. Yeah, it's whoever, whomever these energies are that are coming together, that are harmonizing together, this is something that... This, has some, this is something that has been a long time coming. Whatever this is, I don't know what it is, but something is coming together that you've worked for, that you have worked for. this, And this is something that is 100% in balance. And that doesn't mean, like, the relationship is going to be perfect if that's what you choose to participate in. This means that it has the capacity to, to be very... Um, 
buoyant. <laughs> We're just gonna, again, go with it, buoyant. When I think of buoyant, I think of like floating, like at the top of the water. Maybe this is something that's going to like ascend. Maybe you guys are going to ascend together. Buoyant, rising. They look so in love. <laughs> there's some sort of harmony. There's some there's some sort of harmonizing that's going to come together and it's going to be outstanding whatever this thing is. Everybody looks so happy. I'm happy for you. You deserve whatever this is. It's definitely something that you've worked hard for. You and your potential partner, both. I'm happy to leave it there. This was a really dope reading. Um, I want to thank everybody for Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining yourself. Thank you for coming here to reflect, to learn, to hear the messages that are to come through for us. Thank you for spending the time, energy, love and light to all of you every single one of you watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.